right? I'm sure. And this is my Ford Transit. I converted it from a builder's van into a camper van for just £700. Join me and my adventures and vlogs with Project Camper and enjoy the video. Morning everybody. I might have just made the most stupidest mistake of my entire life. Today is Friday and it's quarter past eight. I'm about to go into work. Now, <clears throat> on Wednesday, trawling through the uh, internet, interweb, and I found a 2014 VW Crafter in white, 70 odd thousand miles, absolutely mint, air conditioned, quite cheap. So uh, I rang the bloke up, no answer. Uh, text the bloke, no answer. And then it wasn't until about eight o'clock at night, which I thought fair play, you know, the bloke's probably at work and all that. Um, just switched his phone on. Uh, I have my phone on all the time just because I've got kids and stuff. So yeah, um, spoke to him. And uh, he sounded quite a nice gentleman, actually. So hopefully what I've done will be okay. But I've pretty much paid 90% without looking at it, without seeing it, just on the pictures. Um, I went down the bank, transferred, say, 90% of the money over to him. And hopefully I'll pick it up today. Just got to pay the rest of it. But you know when you got this gut feeling, you've just transferred quite a lot of money into somebody's bank account, and you might not ever see it again. And with my uh, OCD, it's something that I never, ever, ever do. I normally go and look at a vehicle. I'll take a mate with me. Sometimes, because sometimes your head, you know, rules your heart, or your heart rules your head, sorry, and you just fall in love with it. You can see all these things. I mean, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night, and, well, I did, but not much. I'm just thinking about it, thinking of the scenarios. And I do think about things, I overthink stuff a lot. So, yeah, I'm bricking it. So, I'm going to do my day's work, or half day's work um, and then getting a lift over to Winchester and hopefully if it goes all right I should have a new vehicle if it doesn't <laughs> the money that I've got in my pocket right now I'm gonna probably spend it on alcohol and get absolutely smashed if not the first thing I do is buy some swivel seats so I'm going to look forward to a positive day. So this is in the morning before work. It's 20 past eight now. And hopefully the next time you see me, I'll have a smile on my face and everything went all right. If it doesn't, part two of this video <laughs> will be whether a bottle of Stella or a bottle of Morgan Spice with no lemonade, probably just an ice cube. But hey ho. So, uh, yeah, here goes. Catch you a bit. Hi, everyone. Well, as I said earlier, I'm going to have the van, I'm going to be happy as Larry, or I'm going to have a bottle of Stella, or a bottle of um, Morgan Spice. Well, <laughs> let me say something. I'm normally very, very cautious. But unfortunately this time, I right royally mucked up. I 
found this van on eBay. And I believe I wasn't the only person. I'll come to that in a minute. So I've rung him, texted him, blah, blah, blah. He's answered the phone. And uh, I, he, he said his name, okay, was David Garrity. Okay, now he was a very well-spoken person. Seem, seem genuine. And I said to him, look, look at my feedback. I've got 100% feedback and I've purchased some very expensive items. I.e. the solar panels, quite a few solar panels, two expensive batteries, two expensive solar controllers from uh, Victor Energy, as well as other stuff. So he had a look and went, yeah, 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 I can see you're a, you know, a trustworthy person, you, 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 know, you pay up and everything. He said, but I have obviously got uh, other people interested in this van. And I said, yeah, I appreciate that because it does look very nice. It's got everything I want, air conditioning, cruise control, 2014, absolutely mint bodywork. Uh, I looked at the registration number, went to work, had a look on the MOT computer, and yeah, the mileage checks out. Um, it's, I think the most, the most it had was a couple of bulbs out. But everything has been done, you know, it's, it, on paper it looks like the perfect van. According to that registration number, anyway. So, uh, yeah, in all intents and purposes, nice van. Uh, the money was, to be fair, probably about a couple of grand under, I suppose. And that's when an alarm bell started ringing. I thought, well, it's a bit too big, good, you know, it's a bit too good to be true. But when I spoke to the bloke, he sounded all right. So yeah, David Garrity, phone number, and I'm going to put a link in the description because it doesn't really end there. 0738523 So anyway, father-in-law picks me up to from um, work. I'm all excited. Getting the old A27 up to Winchester. Stuck in that awful 50 mile an hour smart motorway uh, upgrade. Get to the address. Ring the bloke. All right, mate. Uh, outside your house. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, mate. Hey, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. Sit there patiently. A woman next door. She's like, waves. Hiya. Are oh, you here for the van? Yeah. Why? Oh, there was another bloke this morning turned up at 10.30. I went, okay. Yeah, he, 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 he rung up and said the bloke was going to be 10 minutes. I went, yeah, strange. That's just what the uh, bloke on the phone said to me. All right. Um, well, the person who lives there... Uh, He's taking his daughter away to university. Right. But I just spoke to him and he said it'd be 10 minutes. No, sorry. Um, but the other person, I've got their phone number. Uh, and I'll give that to you if you want. Okay. Now I'm getting a little bit agitated. I've just, as I said, the van was four grand. I paid three grand into his bank account without looking. Cardinal sin. I've never done that before. Normally I go out to the van, you like it, pay the money. Never ever put a deposit on it. And I applaud you to do exactly the same. If they want you to put a deposit on it, don't. If you haven't seen it, then don't do it. Anyway, I ring up this other bloke who's also been duped out of money. He'd been duped out of 400 quid. So, I mean, not bad. 3,400 quid's worth of conning. Turns out that the bloke had the same phone number 
but his name was called Damien Thompson. So now we've got one phone number, two buyers, two names. I don't understand how this can happen because to open up a bank account, you've actually got to physically go in to a bank, prove who you are. So as he banks with Santander, right, I've got all the, uh, well, free, when I went into NatWest, who else I bank with? They have gave him this proof of transcript, proof of transfer. It's got his name on it, David Garrity. But he doesn't exist. How's that? And how can PayPal, or not PayPal, eBay, verify someone's account? My account is verified. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. To say I'm annoyed, I'm more annoyed with myself, to be fair, as well. I mean, I've just spunked up £3,000 of my money. Now, that money, if you remember right a little while ago, okay, on my driveway, where I am now, I built a 12-tonne lorry, okay, into a motorhome. And a horrible woman that was over there reported me to the council saying that, the back end uh, was was on the path. Now she lives over there. Okay, I live in a dead end cul-de-sac. No one there. Go and look at the other videos. I'll put a link in the description up there. Or up there. I can't remember which way the camera goes around that. So, yeah, I then sold at a massive loss the lorry, so I wouldn't upset anybody. So I put the money in my drawer, didn't put it in the bank, and then started looking for a sprinter or a crafter with air conditioning. That's all I wanted. Preferably a 2.5, but this was a two litre one. I didn't really matter. You know, you can chip them and stuff like that. So yeah, this one pops up. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Ring the bloke up. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. There are a few people interested though. So, you know, if you want to secure it, then, um, yeah, you know, leave a deposit. Yeah, no worries. I, I did think that, mate. You know, quite a nice looking van. So, you know, I'm prepared to pay for it and then collect it at you know, a later date. I need my head testing, don't I? Absolutely need my head testing. The way I'm going to look at it now, okay, is I bet on a horse and I lost. That ain't never going to happen again. So, if you look at a van and you think it's a good two, you know, it's the same old saying, you know, it's the same old saying, isn't it? If it's too good to be true, then it, it really is. So, don't be a knobber like me. You know, I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed with myself. I really, really am. Three grand down the pan. So, yeah. Now, you know, the missus is really, like, she's supportive. She said, you know, it happens. So you need to sort out with the banks and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. But personally, ringing the police, yeah. They might give me a cry number, money, you know, trying to obtain money through, you know, deception. I wish I'd never done it now. I could have got my teeth done for that. Repaired my teeth, which is, you know, I hate them. I can't talk properly. So they're buying a van. But luckily, I still have Toyota Talbot and the Transit. But to me, that's not, you know, that's beside the point. I wanted one vehicle that I could do everything in. And now that's not gonna happen. Well, it can do, I'll have to sell this and that. But that's not what it was about. It was about me making another sprinter to enjoy and take the kids away. Because Terry the Talbot's a bit old, petrol engine, no headrests, no airbags, <laughs> no power. But he is, he's trusty. So yeah, don't ever hand any money over.
without actually looking at the vehicle. And if you don't like it, walk away. It's your money, your hard earned money. Don't let anybody take it from you. Even if they say, yeah, I've got, I've got about five or six people looking at it, mate. So yeah, fine, crack on then, mate. You know, you, you know, just don't bloody do it like I did. I've been a right mug. I really have. So, uh, yeah, I'm having a few beers tonight. And you can all laugh at me. So it's strange, isn't it, really? Twice this week, the van life community have been mugged off. First, jock in the box, scouse. Is it scouse? No, sorry, not scouse. What am I about? Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I'm just, I'm just annoyed. I probably can't even talk properly. I'm probably babbling on now. But yeah, Scottish jock in the box. That's what I meant. You know, his his channel first started up. We all felt sorry for him. We all paid into his PayPal account, give him some money, and then uh, yeah, I popped a um, a video the other day, dated the twenty third, and then Liam did a, a video last night. Which yeah, good shout out to you, Liam. Well done, mate. Well done for you know, well done for that, mate. I really appreciate that. You know, well, we all do. You know, you're an ambassador, like yeah, like everyone else is. And I feel really gutted because I watched a video the other day, well, I think it was this morning actually, Gadget John, shout out, and uh, Camper Vibes, you know, the girls, they went down there, and they helped out. I mean, it's not local, is it? And he's weed on their fireworks, you know what I mean? I've got to say, he's pissed on their fireworks, pissed on their trainers. The amount of time and effort that those people, I don't, I, you know, it's not just them, it's everybody, loads of people. Mark, everybody. Time, effort and parts for him to do that. I mean, this world is full of sick people that really are so unappreciated. And I don't get it myself. I really don't get it. Yeah, boils my blood really does people's kind nature is taking advantage it won't stop me from being kind though i'm not like that i'm just upset that with myself for trusting somebody it won't happen again i can assure you if i buy a vehicle i'll be buying it whilst I'm standing in front of it and I'm going to rip it to pieces. Take your scanner, take a mate. Just, just be bloody careful. So that's all I can say. Just be bloody careful. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want to buy a three pound sticker, the link's down there. I need the money now. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, I'll have a smile on my face. Well, I always have got a smile on my face. But you know what I mean. So, uh, thank you very much. Be happy, be merry. Drink beer and support van lifers. The nice ones. The ones who appreciate it. So, catch you later.